It is generally believed that no nation develops without investing in critical infrastructure, such as the expansion of road network, which ostensibly would ease the transportation of goods and services, even from far and remote areas. In realization of the multifaceted roles an expanded road network can play in the social life of the people in a developing economy, Governor Ifanyo Kowa of Delta State, South South Nigeria, embarked on massive investments in roads construction, expansion, and extension to areas hitherto not linked by roads. Delta State has become one, one big construction site. In terms of road construction, there is no community in Delta State that you not see a new road being constructed or already constructed by the government of Dr. Efrain Okowa. None. Road infrastructure is the most expensive infrastructure in Africa, not to talk of South South region. In spite of the economic recession, Okowa has megally transformed Delta State villages and communities through road infrastructure. The harsh economic conditions that greeted the early months of the Okawa led administration in 2015 did not deter Governor Ifanyo Okawa from investing huge sums into roads construction. The administration has embarked on massive roads construction and expansion in the coastal communities of Ogula, Yobebe, Biniebiema, Obotobo 1 and 2. Sugobolo and Ogidigbe. This, of course, is without prejudice to internal roads in Okorenkoko, Borotu, and Odeja Kiri, all with the sole objective of ensuring that no community in Delta State, no matter where it is located, is left without a durable road network that will drive socio economic development. We took the initiative to take road construction to the deep riverine areas. Because in the past, people just felt, oh, what's the need? Building roads in the rural area. One is really very expensive, about three, four, five, or six times the cost that you used to build a road in the upland. And now, with the roads that we are building in the riverine areas, the people begin to feel the impact of government. And one good thing that it has done for us is that it has helped us to build the peace, which is one of our cardinal agenda. He's done very well in managing the finances of the state. The road aspect of uh, Delta today, I would say, is one of the best in the country. It's toward the, all the senatorial districts. And it's also doing something in the, even the, the Rarang area, which makes it a complete package for Deltans. The lengthy 19.7 kilometer Ogula, Yokri, Obotobo 1 and 2, Sogobolo Road which comes at a great cost but holds immense economic benefits to the coastal people has changed the landscape of the area. First in history since the existence of Nigeria and Delta State particular. The first governor that has embarked on infrastructural development in the riverine area including my own kingdom. So I'm so happy about this administration and I wish that uh, God will help him and the people will vote for him massively. It surprised me, somebody who is not from this our area, take it as a pain to develop this our area that makes Senator Ifai Okowa to be a great person. This developmental approach, which is anchored on his smart agenda of prosperity for all Deltans, has taken a large chunk of state resources as 353 roads, including those in the upland and coastal communities, and which cut across the three senatorial districts, have been constructed, reconstructed, and expanded to facilitate access to markets, health services, quality education, and other socio-economic activities. I believe so much in what he's doing. I see a lot of good connections. Everywhere in this local government, we have seen massive construction of roads. The multi-billion Naira Efroto, or War Bridge and Road Project, which when completed, will solve an age-long desire of the people of Ugeli South 
to meet with their kith and kin and also provide access to the several modern markets built by the Okawa-led administration is one of the many examples of an expanded road network program which has many positive impacts. If I Okawa, you try for all to help us to cross this bridge. Because how many years we suffer because of this bridge? May God bless Okawa. If I'm here to worry, it will be easier. So goods will be available here. Any, anything produced here will be sold been profitably. So we are happy with this bridge. It is therefore not surprising that in campaign rallies, all ethnic nationalities in Delta State never stop rooting for Senator Kawa's re-election to consolidate and finish what he started. The surging crowd at the campaign flag of at Ogara speaks volume about the governor's acceptance, which the people didn't pretend about. In terms of road construction, youth empowerment, building of infrastructural development, Okowa deserves second tenor. Are we are ready to vote Okowa in? He has built people, he has built uh, structures, he's the road master. You know, because the man has the fear of God, he will continue to excel. Okowa has touched almost all the whole life, person living disability, that has it. And with the disabled in this community, Delta State, we have prepared to support him to make sure he come back second time prayerfully. The scenario was no different at Koko in Wari North and in Sapele, Sapele local government area, where the singing and dancing never seemed to end. Like it was in Ogara, the mammoth crowd was better seen than imagined. Once again, the people bear their minds. Your Excellency, you have performed 100%. You have sufficient and enough evidence on ground for the people of South Federal Government to vote for you massively. Whatever you have done for us, this is the time for us to pay you back. I want to assure you that for all the years, no government has touched the lives of many people in South Federal the way you've done. The worry not. We call you the community builder. That is an additional name now because you have touched the lives of worry not people. The continuous investment in the building of new roads by the administration has equally triggered endorsements of Governor Ifanyo Kowa and further strengthened the people's resolve for his second term as the community dwellers usually troop out to welcome Governor Kowa whenever he shows up for inspection of the project. His Excellency is the road master, one of his kind that we've seen in the history of Delta State. He's a governor indeed. By doing this road for us, he's a good governor. I'm so excited for Okowa's job. Okowa is working. Look at the roads. He's doing a lot for Delta State. Former Deputy Governor Professor Emo Zutwama, who hails from Ugeli South, was caught by the Smart Delta camera making use of the old wooden bridge. He shares his thoughts on the importance of the project to his people. It's a great connection in Ugele South so that we ease the movement of goods and people. The social life of the people will improve, the economic life of the people will improve instead of going around and that will cause the cost of movement in any case. So it's a very good thing. This is what we expect from the government. We suffered a lot in this place because there's no bridge. Even when the Okpare Bridge was not built, we passed through the Bugele Express Road to the Bugele. It's a very difficult task. This bridge is a very big project. We appreciate the governor for this. The desire of the administration to bring back the glory days of Wari and Sapele led the administration to award contract for the expansion of the existing roads in the two urban centers. When they are done with the first and second segment, they will now move to the dualization of the Yukon, which is the section 3. Uh, the contract is being handled by Act Marine. We call him the roadmaster. The people are indeed happy and they are willing to show their appreciation come March by re-electing him to sustain the good work which he has started. The expansion and rehabilitation of sections of Ogara Junction to Otefe Road has helped to improve commercial activities in many communities in Ethiop West local government area. The state of the road was so bad at that time 
But since it has been done, it's okay now. The road not good, but now Kowa what type of road will do for us. We appreciate that. Governor Kowa is a good product. He sells himself. He has performed. He has not left out any local government at all. So the people are happy. The noble idea to embark on roads expansion in Uvia local government area has yielded tremendous results. Apart from the intervention in Obodo Avenue, Berja Road, Ugborikoko Poloko Okere Road, and Masi Roads maintenance in Efron, it is a lot easier for commuters and vehicle owners to access communities in Okbe local governments from Uye as a result of Okawa's footprints in Wari Saple Expressway, which invariably provide access to other communities, including the ever busy Efron metropolis. We've covered a lot on the installation of drain, the pavement as well. About four kilometers of a drain wall has been installed. We have a stabilized sand already. We have about one kilometer installed so far. We hope to complete this work in no distant time. And so, when the campaign train belted in Wari South and Uwea local government areas, the massive crowd that turned out was the people's way of saying thank you to Governor Ifanyo Kowa for inclusive governance of which they are beneficiaries. What you see here today is a testimony of the fact that we have support for your quest. You are in for governorship for the second time. The governor has done very well for us. Yes. We are enjoying the benefit of democracy in New Year. Yes. So we have only PDP in New Year. Yes. And we are voting PDP 5 over 5. Similarly, the rehabilitated and expanded Jesse Boboroku Road is designed to address the strain on cities already struggling to cope with growing population as it has the capacity to create jobs, improve the quality of lives of the people. Our road before, not good to the market, but now our road got good if we go market. No need to disturb us again. What we are seeing, uh, it is pleasant to know that the governor is performing and we are happy about it. The expansion of road network to areas in Isoko land which were difficult to access due to bad roads in the past is progressing rapidly. The roads that this Led government has constructed so cannot there about 400 plus still counting. We have a PDP there is hardly any campaign. community that has not gotten uh, a road. Our governor, Okowa, try enough. We are enjoying the road. The road is okay. Senator Okowa is doing well. That is why Isoko not support him. The old Ozoro Ole Road, also in Isoko land, has not escaped the attention of the Okowa led administration. The people's testimonies are indicative of the impact of government's policy of the infrastructure drive through road expansion network. You come for one today, we are very proud of you. Assuring that Isoko Ozoro will always come to you. We are very, very proud of your service. The infrastructure drive of the Okawa led administration has also triggered the expansion of roads in Delta North Senatorial District. To this end, the 11.7 km Iseluku Iselim Pitime on a Cholona Road in Anyocha North local government area has been rehabilitated and expanded to enhance trade and commerce among the several communities in the area. This is in addition to the construction and expansion of Obongpa Ukunzu Road. In the past, every other person was on Okada, but now we can fly to our villages. He has surpassed the expectation of our people. With this road in place, it makes things easier for them. Their goods will be well valued 
and of course they will be able to communicate with other communities. What our grandfather has not been able to achieve since we find ourselves in this area, Okowa has done it for us. By giving us a good road and a fine drainage by both sides. It sounds as if I'm giving a new wife. The Okowa-led administration's road expansion project has made remarkable impressions on the people of Ika Northeast and Ika South local government areas. The commissioning of various road projects in their areas offered them an opportunity with Smart Delta to speak on the importance of the road expansion policy of the government. This is what is making every area now to be developed. Because whatever you say, without road, which is the major infrastructure, no area is developed. This community is made up of farmers, so transporting the farm products from the farms to the market now is made easier for the people courtesy of the governor's uh, developmental stripes. Governor Kowa is elected governor of God. He's doing marvelous work. What others cannot do for donkey years, eight decree years, he has done it. God will bless him. In the same vein, the impact of the road expansion policy of the Okowa-led administration is not lost on the trio of former President Olusha Gwambasanjo, Deputy Senate President E.K. Kwerim Mado, and Gombe State Governor Ibrahim Dakwambo. Road projects, no matter how you see them, are some of the most important key things that open up areas, attract economic development, boost a lot of activity, and make the community grow bigger and bigger. My brother, I commend you. We are overwhelmed with joy in seeing this type of road in our local governments. This road leads to many communities. So the people living in this community, they are very, very happy. And they are saying big thank you to our governor. In Indokwa East and West, several roads have been expanded to enhance the economic well-being and livelihoods of the people. The expansion of these roads has increased socio-economic activities, reduced transport costs, and increased access to markets. Smart Delta. The aggressive road construction policy of the Okowa-led administration has triggered an impressive transformation of Asaba the state capital. The Asaba, Capital Territory Development Authority, a brainchild of Governor Fanyo Koa, has not been resting on its oars as the agency has keyed into the administration's road expansion policy. Several roads within the Asaba metropolis have been constructed and expanded to enhance the aesthetic nature of Asaba as a befitting state capital. Our first uh, task was to make sure that uh, roads within the old town were accessible. We embarked on uh, improving access to homes and businesses uh, by uh, tarring most of the roads, uh, starting with all the roads off Nebisi Road from Ekumeko Roundabout up to uh, Grand Hotel. Every single one of the roads off that Nebisi Road has been tired since then. So far, 63 roads projects have been awarded by the Asaba Capital Territory Development Authority with no less than 45 roads completed. The expansion of roads to cover several streets within Asaba City, which include but not limited to Isioma Onyobi, Ojife Street, Ndukai Loba, Obio Kolotu, Anthony Anoya Street and Monyo Olariwaju Crescent is in line with the desire of the Okowa-led administration to provide public facilities and infrastructure that promote social and economic enhancements of the people. Network of roads, if you come to my town, you can't believe it. It's a man sent by God. He's a father. We want him back. Okowa is a roadmaster and it's everything to us in Delta State. We are bringing him back. No challenge. He has done so much for us. As a state, he has transformed everywhere. He has opened up everywhere by roads. Through the Ministry of Urban Renewal, the road expansion policy of the Okowa-led administration has received a boost. The reconstruction and expansion of the Okpare Okpawa Road and the 10-kilometer Aviara Araya Okpare Road now link several communities 
and enhanced socio-economic development in other communities. Okawa transformed Delta State to a modern city. In terms of road, Okawa is a road master. Some people when get Bele, they are Bele come out because of bad road. But since when Okawa enter, road master, he can repair road for us. If we go market, we know they take again. Smarter we don't reach us. If you go market and you get Bele, smooth road, now you can pass. We are happy. Okbanam. Once a sleepy community has become a center of economic and commercial activity due to the expansion of road network into the nooks and crannies of the community. Today, Okbanam prides itself as an emerging city center poised to play an enviable role in promoting commerce and industry in Delta State. Dr. Ato Ifan Okowa, our governor, has done very, very well. The whole of Delta State, he has turned it into Name multi city routes. The whole of Okpanam, intercity roads, everything is perfectly done. Since the EQMA, the roadmaster, oh my god, the roads have been paved, it's clear to everybody. We are so happy with him because when he makes promises, he keeps all of them. Like the popular saying that a golden fish has no hiding place. The Okawa-led administration's modest achievements in infrastructure drive has resonated deep outside the shores of the state. Inside the expansive Eco Hotel and Suite Hall in Victoria Island, Lagos, Governor Fanyo Okawa was named the Governor of the Year 2018 and Man of the Year 2018 from the Vanguard and Daily Independent newspapers, respectively. Of Delta State, it's a great pleasure to give this award to you. Congratulations. It better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do I see a job and work creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. I thank the people of Delta State for their partnership. I appreciate my family for giving me the amazing peace to be able to relate to the larger Delta. I will continue to ensure that together with Delta, we build better days ahead for us and the rest assured that clearly for the Delta community here and those back home, that we are in a partnership, a partnership that will continue to work for our people. For Gabriel Obeche, Chief Executive Officer, Rain Oil, Festus Ovie Agas, the Secretary to the State Government, and scores of other Deltans, the Governor of the Year Award is an honor well deserved. What Delta State has experienced in the last three and a half years since uh, Senator Dr. Ifan Yokoa came on board has been tremendous. The number of roads we've seen, the huge infrastructural developments. So we are excited as Deltans that Vanguard newspaper has also seen what those of us in Delta State have seen and decided to give him this honor, which we all know is very, 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 very well deserved. He has uh, performed beyond the expectations of Deltans today is the pride of Delta State. We are very proud of him. Some persons call him Roadmaster, others call him Bulldozer, others call him Mr. Capacity, all in appreciation of the good work that he has done. As far as infrastructure development is concerned, it has touched every nook and cranny of Delta State. So I'm not surprised. Even outside Delta State, he's known all over the country because of his transparency, his integrity, and the man that carries people along. Honorable Onofiok Luke, Speaker at Kwaibom State House of Assembly, also joined in commending the Daily Independent and the Vanguard newspapers for their recognition of the sterling leadership and managerial qualities of Governor Ifan Yokoa, who, despite lean resources, has surpassed the expectation of many. I know that he has a passion for human development. And one of the things that um, indeed need to him is humility, his commitment to service. Um, of recent is the job he had to do at the national convention of the party 
at Port Harcourt. You could see his zeal, you could see his commitment, you could see his sincerity that he needs Nigeria to work again. He deserves the award. As an administration that believes in providing the needed public facilities and infrastructure to drive social and economic enhancements of its people, it is worthy to keep in mind that the Okawa-led government is the only administration since the creation of Delta State that has embarked on at least 15 road projects in the riverine communities with a total mileage of 74 kilometers. This is an area where others fear to dare because of its extremely challenging terrain, but he has conquered it with ease. It is therefore only normal the administration etched itself in the hearts of the people as it continues its drive to enhance the development of infrastructure across different sectors. The governor has done so well for Delta State and for me he deserves a second term to consolidate on the gains and achievements of the first term. We are expecting that after he's swearing in for a second term, he will do better and greater jobs for the other state. We are happy at his work. We're proud of him.